Hi everyone, and welcome back to Managing Octopus Deploy. In this training, we are walking through the various things an Octopus Manager needs to know how to manage the Octopus Deploy instance. In the previous videos, we have installed the Octopus Deploy instance, and we have installed and configured various tentacles. In this module, what we are going to be going through is understanding a bit about the Octopus Deploy UI that you need to know as an Octopus Deploy administrator. The first thing that you'll need to know is the configuration screen. As an Octopus manager, chances are you'll probably spend a great deal of time on this particular screen as this provides you a variety of different settings that are available to you. Um, the, all, I won't go through all of the various settings. I'll mostly touch on some key things that you need to know about, uh, but it is a very important section, especially if you're an Octopus Deploy Manager to know about. The first thing that you'll notice is that you're gonna be sent to the configuration features page. Now this is the page where you can come in and you can enable or disable certain things. Uh, a couple of things to make note of is run steps on the Octopus Deploy server. So this will enable you to run scripts directly on the Octopus Deploy server itself. For a good chunk of our customers, I do not recommend doing something like this. Unless you have an, an old instance where you have a lot of additional software that's installed uh, on that instance to support your deployments, that is not something I recommend. I recommend leveraging workers and coming in and disabling this built-in worker. Um, this is a security measure. That way you are not running scripts directly on the server, such as, you know, uh, hello, you know, you, you can do pretty much anything you can if, if you wanted to. So this is very much a security concern. So that would be one of the first things that I would configure. Another thing to note is maintenance mode. So maintenance mode is anyone who has the ability to administer the Octopus Deploy instance will have the ability to basically make it behave as normal. But once I enable maintenance mode, no other user outside of anyone with the administrator system permission will be able to do a deployment, will be able to uh, run a run book, will be able to do anything. This is very useful for when we are going to be covering how to, con how to do upgrades, or if you were gonna be making any wholesale changes under the covers, uh, this is when you would come in here and you would enable maintenance mode because you don't wanna have people coming in and making any sort of changes or changing up how you're gonna be doing things. But at the same time, you need to have the ability to uh, manage your Octopus Deploy instance and test things out. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable maintenance mode. Uh, another area that you'll need to make note of is the diagnostics. Um, so if you are curious about any sort of information about your instance, this would be another good place to come to. Uh, this is where they're going to be looking at the various logs. You will get various system-wide counts, as well as uh, any sort of additional logs that you can download and you can view. Uh, there'll be times when we'll ask you for logs, especially if you contact support. This would be one of the first places to come, especially if they start asking you for counts. In terms of, say, things like authentication, uh, that's going to be found under settings. So this is where you configure whether or not you do Active Directory, Azure AD, Google Apps, LDAP, as well as uh, any other types of authentication. This is also where you would come in and you configure, say, if you have ServiceNow uh, as, an, as an additional feature, if you've purchased the enterprise license, or if you have uh, any sort of any other types of features that you might purchase additionally, they would have appear here. The other thing to make note of in the left menu is going to be your users, teams, and roles. This is where you come in and you can add additional users uh, as well as create teams and assign those teams to roles. Uh, I won't go into too much more detail because the actual uh, knowledge of how those teams interact and everything like that is covered in additional training modules. But then as the big thing to make note of is this is the section in which you come in here and you'll make those types of changes. If you're curious about what permissions a person has, the test permissions screen is the best place to come and it will give you a high level overview of all the permissions for that particular person. 
as the only user on the system and as the administrator, as you can imagine, I have pretty much unlimited access to this entire instance. The final thing to make note of is the nodes screen. The nodes screen we'll, we will get into in the next uh, Octopus Deploy uh, training. We'll get into the next module where we start talking about high availability. This is where you can come in and you can change the task cap. So right now this is set to run five concurrent tasks and I'll show you what that looks like. What, what is a task in just a second? Um, when we add additional nodes, they would appear on this particular screen. They would see, they would report the last time it was seen or as reported in the status or anything along those lines. So those are the important things that you need to know about in the configuration screen. The other screen that you're probably going to be spending quite a bit of time in is the task screen. The task screen, this is the queue of things that Octopus Deploy is going to run. Um, the tasks is a first in, first out queue. And these are all of the things that Octopus, these are all of the little tasks that Octopus Deploy runs behind the scenes. Anything in addition to that, if I do a deployment, or if I do a runbook run, or if I do anything, it's going to appear on this screen. What the task cap is, what you saw in the previous screen on the node screen, what that means is how many tasks can be pulled off the queue at any given point in time. Right now, this is a brand new instance, so I don't have a lot of tasks. But as the instance, as I use this instance more and more, and as it ages, there's gonna be more and more tasks that appear on this particular screen. So this is where, uh, again, if you had a number of tasks that are queued, let's say you had 50 tasks that are queued with my current configuration, I could process five tasks at a time. So I, I do five out of those 50, then the next five out of those 50, so I've done a total of 10, so on and so forth. The last screen that we should make note of is the audit screen. And this tells us everything that has happened in this Octopus Deploy instance, any sort of read, excuse me, any, sorry, any sort of write, delete, or update event is logged to the task log. And we can search on this task log based on various things. I could search on say, who, you know, what were all the things that I did since this instance has been created, or at least in the last 30 days. Uh, we can filter on the event groups, such as you know, machine events. So machine became healthy, machine was deleted, or anything along those lines. So if you are an auditor, or if your auditors ask you for information such as this, this is the screen that you would come to to find that information. You can export these results as a CSV file to provide that type of information. In addition, we'll have the ability to audit, excuse me, archive off these logs after 90 days. Um, we will notice that after we do the upgrade and we'll talk about that after we do, after we do the upgrade uh, that's coming in a future video. Uh, but just make note of that you can see up there that there's this warning. And depending on when you are watching this video or the version of Octopus Deploy installed, you might not see this warning and you will already have this option enabled. So that is it in terms of some things that you need to make note of in terms of configuration uh, for Octopus Deploy. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.